Hello and welcome boys and girls. Welcome to Storytime with Miss Diamond. I am Miss Diamond and I love reading stories to children. Do you know why I love reading stories to children? I love reading stories to children so that I can help you learn valuable life lessons. So as I read the stories, make sure you listen to the details. Make sure you pay special attention to what happens to the characters so that at the end, you'll be prepared to answer some important questions about the story. Today's story, boys and girls, is called The North Wind and the Sun. It's one of Aesop's fables. So let's show you this story. The North Wind and the Sun. This first picture is of the north wind, represented by this blue here. And the next picture is the sun. So sit back, relax, put your thinking caps on, and let's hear about the north wind and the sun. The north wind and the sun met far above the earth and had a great argument. I am stronger than you, roared the North Wind. Oh, no, you're not, smiled the sun happily. For weeks their argument raged. Neither the sun nor the North Wind would give way. They became so wrapped up in their dispute that they ignored their jobs. <laughs> what do you think about that, boys and girls? Have you ever been so mad about something, arguing with someone back and forth so much that you forgot what you were supposed to do? That you forgot to do your chores or your homework because you were so angry with someone else? The north wind did not blow and the sun would not shine. They were too busy arguing, boys and girls. In the end, they decided that they must settle their argument once and for all before something dreadful happened to the weather on the earth. Well, we need the sun and the wind, don't we? But they were up there arguing and battling it out, so the people on earth were neglected. In the end, they agreed that the first one of them to separate a certain traveler from his cloak could consider himself the stronger of the two. The north wind tried first. He leaped upon the poor traveler, roaring and blowing. He tried his hardest to tear the cloak from the man's body. He failed. All he did was to make the windswept man hug his cloak closer to him for protection. It's impossible, groaned the north wind, retiring and leaving the traveler alone to continue on his way. If I can't separate that man from his cloak with all of my blowing strength, I'm sure you won't be able to either, son. The sun did not answer the surly north wind. He merely carried on smiling. He smiled down on the traveler below him. His smell began to make the traveler feel warm. Before long, the man stopped hugging his cloak to him and let it fall open. You know how you open your coat when you get a little warm, boys and girls? The sun's smile grew warmer and warmer. The traveler threw his cloak back behind him so that it hung from his shoulders. Still, the sun kept smiling. The earth grew warmer and warmer. Everything began to wilt and drop in the enormous heat. In the end, the traveler knew he did not need his cloak at all. It had gotten too hot. He took it off and trailed it in the dust behind him. The sun turned to the north wind. He still said nothing but his smile grew even wider. 
So that's the story of the North Wind and the Sun. Now let's go back to a few things, boys and girls. First, let's talk about arguing. Do you think it really mattered who was stronger, the sun or the wind? Whether the wind could blow harder than the sun could shine, or whether the sun could outshine the strong wind? It wouldn't have mattered to me. Sometimes the wind blows gently like a breeze, and sometimes the wind blows really strong like in a tornado. I think it's really up to the wind. And sometimes the sun shines just a little bit, and sometimes the sun shines so brightly it gets too hot. I think it's up to the sun. Maybe sometimes, boys and girls, when you're having arguments with someone and you get really heated and upset and mad, you can think, it really doesn't matter who wins this. I can still shine brightly if I want to. And I can still blow off some steam sometimes if I want to. But I don't need to argue with anyone. I don't need to argue about what they said or what they did or what I said or what I did. I can just move on. And then you don't ignore the other things that you have to do in the world, boys and girls. Arguments take up a lot of time, a lot of strength, and they make us feel badly inside. So maybe next time you're spending a lot of time arguing, you just back away and you say, you know what, this doesn't matter. Now there's another lesson in this, boys and girls. The sun and the wind, two very different elements, have different ways of showing up in the world. The sun's way is to smile. The sun smiled on the traveler. Let's look at this picture again. See the bright smile on the sun's face? He's smiling at this traveler. Now it did get very heated, but the sun was happy. He showed his strength in a way that was happy and smiling. Now let's look back at the picture of the wind. That wind is mighty like a tornado. It's blowing with all its might. That wind looks a little angry doesn't it? It does to me. My mom used to have a saying that says, you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. What does this mean, boys and girls? It means sort of the same thing about the way the sun and the wind showed their strength. The wind was angry and showing its strength. And the sun was smiling and showing its strength. Which way do you prefer to show your strength? And just because you're smiling, does that mean that you're not strong? I smile a lot, but Miss Diamond thinks that she's very strong. And some people roar a lot, but that could be a cover-up for being weak inside. We don't know. The point is, sometimes you can get your way by being warm, and you don't always have to be angry. Did you like that story, boys and girls? Miss Diamond wants you to remember that arguments are not always necessary, that they can make you forget about the other things that you need to tend to, and that there is strength whether you're smiling or angry, I prefer to smile. It makes me feel good about what I'm doing. Miss Diamond loves you very much, boys and girls. Big virtual hugs to all of my babies out there. See you next time on Storytime with Miss Diamond.